Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate any debris in your iClone 7 by using the debris generator. Right, first what you are going to do is you have to go to download the plugin. First you scroll down, go to my video descriptions and click into this link, get debris generator from this link. Right. Once you enter here, this is the Revolution Marketplace official website. What you are going to do is search at here, Debris Generator, then click search. Next, you should be able to see a Debris Generator. You click download. Now, free trial to download. You should be able to see this. You download it. After that, just go to your your download folder. You right click your file explorer, enter your download folder. And then you should be able to see the file locations. As demo, I will put my download file here. That is a zip file. I right click and extract all and extract. Now double click in. This is a debris generator. And what you are going to do is you need to copy, copy the debris generator folder to your plug, plug in folder. Alright, this is quite a few process. If you don't know how to install any of the free plugin for iCron 7, you have to go down, go to the video description and click into this link. How to install all free plugin for iCron 7. This is my tutorial that I, I had recorded previously. How to install the free plugins. Once you already install it, you can go to your iClone and just have a look. The plugin is here. G2, it is under G2, Debris Generator. Alright, now this is the plugin. So in order to use, use it to generate any of the debris, what you are going to do, first I will create a plane. Okay, once I already created a plane, it is easier for us to see. Now, this plane, I make it be certain color. I make it be brown color or gray color. Okay, now you need to select a prop to generate the debris. For now, as demo, I will just use some of. I'll click here. I use some basic shape. For example, the three D blocks. All right. Let's say if now I use. I use a cube. Drag a cube here. Now, prop you must select. Select this cube. Go to the scene. You should be, be able to see that the box is here. So now you cannot see. You just close it and open again. Click the plug in. The G2 debris generator and check. The box is there already. Now, these are the range. One thousand. It will be around 1000 range and rotation I can put X as is as 50 degree okay Y as 180 degree Z as 180 degree okay 180 everything now the scale I can adjust different different scale for example this one I put 0 0.5 this one 0 0.5 0 0.5 and number of copies if I put 10, then it will generate 10 random debris. Alright, now I click generate. Where are they? You can see now it auto auto generate all the debris. You can just assume that this is a ground and this, this is a rock. 
if I want to use a rock, it is no problem. I'm going to find a rock. It is under my probe. I scroll down. I, let's have a see. I have some rocks here. Let me find some rocks. It's under nature. Okay, it's nothing there. Alright. Nature. Let's say if I use this rock. Okay, now this is a rock. I choose the rock. Okay, now you cannot see over here. You just need to close it and open again to restart the debris generator. It's under the G2 debris generator. So here I select, select the rock. What is this? This is A01. Then I have to select A01. And now rotate. I make this 180, 180, 180 for these three values to make it random and spontaneous. The scale I can just put 0 0.5, 0. Point, wait, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Oh no, this is the range, you, you should put it as 1, or put it once. And now I click generate. So after a while, you should be able to see, okay, this is one copy, I should put 10 copies, I click generate. Alright, so now, now you can see that you already have 10 copies. 10 copies of the debris, of course, you can put 100 as well. Let's say if I put 50, it will generate 50. Just have, have a look. It will automatically generate. All right, 50 is too over maybe. You need to have a high spec of computers that have enough RAM, enough memory, and have a strong processor and graphic cards. So this is just a, a, a very low spec computer, so I, I'm going to close the program. And I start the iClone all over again. I should put it below 20. Okay, the previous project I don't want to really, that is just a demo. Okay, in order to generate some rocks, so now what I can I can do is I can create a a plane plane surface, and again I go to generate some rocks. I go to the props. The rocks is here, nature, G01. I use a random rock, drag into here. Now, go to my debris generator. It's under the G2 debris generator. 
I want to have 15 copies of the debris. Rotate. Here I all put 180. The scale, I can just put 1, 1, and 1. And now I generate it. Select a probe, you have to select it at here. A01, this is A01. And I click generate. Now you can see, now you have a, a few props here. Some if you feel not satisfied, you can just double click and delete it. Press delete button to delete it. Now you can see all the arrangements are random and spontaneous. You can use it to generate any of, of the random debris. And it is really very productive and it, it is really very awesome. And that's all for today about how to generate the debris by using the debris generator in your Icon 7 to create any of your 3D animation scenes easily. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate all the notifications so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.